Get to the point of this goddamned interview. <laughs> yeah, as much as he's a criminal, I would go with his version of events. You know, why would he need to lie about being captured? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we uh, we we set some charges. He'd just say we set some charges to try and distract them, and they wouldn't. Would I believe a government would uh, go so far as to see civilians as uh, an acceptable, what's the word, collateral damage if they managed to completely take out an organization like the fleet? Of course they would. Does it mean that the government's bad or good? Just that they're a government, that's what they do. Got enough ships. Out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. I had the key, a few UC ships, and a couple dozen ex cons at my side, but I needed more, so I sent out the call. Once word got around, it didn't take long for freelance pirates from every corner of the settled systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. The key became our base of operations. We spent months reinforcing our position there, making it nearly impossible to approach. What was the UC's response to the situation? First of all, UC security gave up and handed the reins over to the big guns, the UC Navy. The Navy in turn sent ships to attack the key. I'd say there have been hmm. three major attacks over the last few years. But they didn't and just give you up, can tell by the fact we're having this interview, all the attacks were embarrassing failures. Do you feel these embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems? <laughs> Absolutely. They've clearly given up and decided to shove the responsibility onto a separate division. Huh. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong. While you see Sysdef continually takes all the blame. Hmm. It's all about PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kind of disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. <laughs> atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. Yeah, mate, yeah. Except when they were doing all that, they weren't giggling and cackling and getting pleasure from it. See, that's what makes atrocities so bad yeah honestly the German soldiers following orders putting the poor Jewish people into the ovens well they were drinking themselves half unconscious at night and the shame because they didn't have the balls to stand up and say this is wrong. Hitler and his mates in their bunker, they were cackling. There's a difference. Tell us what the future holds for the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> changes are coming, Gail. Huge changes. The Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, I'm sure he will. Say that I'm on the brink of a score so large it makes everything else pale in comparison. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait and 
and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC <laughs> to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> I know Sistef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. Hmm. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United <clears throat> Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing, I mean nothing in this universe, will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalists to turn to the fleet. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. <laughs> if you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Uh, they both have points. It looks like... Oh, and I've lost it. Of course I've lost it. It looks like... It was reaching its crescendo. Let me just ask you one final question before we wrap up. Yeah. Fine. Go ahead. When is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Criggs need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education and your sheltered upbringing <laughs> and your cushy media job. Me, hmm. I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. Yes. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Lady, I got <laughs> news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn minds. And they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No. Yeah. That's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure she takes all the sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Uh -oh. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. If you edit even one word, or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt you down and kill you. In front of everyone. Do you understand? I, uh... I understand. You have my word. <laughs> well, at least it was being honest. <sighs> and I wonder if she edited it once he disappeared. Good question. Right. Vasco. <sighs> time to actually... Well, time to go back to the... Um, our friends. Pretty sure this place isn't bugged. But time to go back to our friends and um, drop off our... Uh, approvals. Again. Okay, okay. We are getting out of it. I think we'll be coming back one last time before the attack. I'm not a complete animal. I think I get that dot to the uh, stuff. Oh, for the love of. As I said, Vasco, I'm not... We're leaving. We've got one more thing to come back for. 
when we're ready to do it. Alright, let's get out of the substructure. Also, let's use the VR external view. It takes a while to get used to the VR view that positions you behind the ship, but you can do it. Right, that's the key. What's that? Why is it showing... Oh, I know why it's showing Earth. Because when I was looking through Delgado's stuff, it suggested that to me. He's going to that landmark he had in his book. Right. Speak to Kennedy at Aiton at the clinic. Wait, wherever that is. I have Storm. Speak to Bannock for supply line. Speak to Yannick. Okay. We need to get that done. We need to get that done before we head here. They. We're in a position where the pirates are panicking, but they have no idea how long the attack's going to take. So we can control how long it takes. Can't go silly, can't go gallivanting across the galaxy forever, because they might start thinking it's not happening, or sending uh, the pirates out to search systems nearby. So, I think first, we'll go see Yannick first, hmm, maybe, what else have we got, oh, I do know what I want to do, I want to go back to, I need to go back to, where is it, Sagan? I mean, like the fifth or sixth nearest system. They're hiding there. You know, it's silly. But well, having said that, there's a lot of space to cover. Right, the vigilance. Let's head back to the vigilance, handing everything that I've managed to collect. Hey, Vasco. Captain. Stay there, my friend. Right. The fleet killed a buddy of mine. This is more than a job for me. Interesting. Hello. Okay, hello. <laughs> I heard we might see some action soon. Can't wait. <clears throat> yes, we might. Um. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. If there's fleet out there, we'll find them. Where's Toft? Commander. What do you need? All across the galaxy. I'm looking for Toft, actually. All my hopes go with you. Yeah. Good luck. She can't be that hard to find, so... Oh, she's definitely not that hard to Once find. Once we get Toft. rid of all the pirates, the galaxy will be a better place. T Toft? I need to speak to you. Come here. Need anything <clears> for you? Looking for some last-minute yes. advice? No, I've got some last-minute evidence. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Well, I've been... Well, I basically had a proper, proper look around the key because, well, it was my last chance and I figured the least I have to go back, the safer I was going to be looking around. So, you know, here's some stuff about Jasmine. There's a mole feeding her supplies. Yeah, you're right. But there's no way this was a solo job. Shifting all those parts takes serious manpower. I'll send this to Mast so they can shake the tree a bit, see what falls out. Looks like Durand better start looking for parts somewhere else. Is that yep. it? No, I've got stuff on Shinya Voss that actually it was one of the other things Delgado was keeping against him other than the bomb in his chest. So Voss engineered a way to directly interface with the key's mainframe? I knew he was a math genius, but didn't realize he was so tech savvy. 
Yeah. Well, we'll share this information with Galbank. Hopefully it'll help them shore up the security on their cryptocurrency. Find anything else? Yes. Information about Radley Jasso, whoever that is. So, Mr. Yasso is actually Lionel Soto. We thought Soto was dead. At least, that's what the records told us. I'll have the records updated, but seeing as Mr. Yasso has surrounded himself with the Crimson Fleet, there isn't much we can do. Yet. Find anything <laughs> else? Not yet. Uh, I've heard rumors that there are other attacks. Um on well I don't know where but I've just heard rumors that there were going to be other attacks similar to the Hope Town one I'm just trying to think what would be worth attacking part of me is thinking the den I don't know why but I'm not sure on what else they would attack right but that's all I have for now sir, this madam, is your moment ma'am I know you can do this yes so do I Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come you can be sure she'll keep our team's crosses Yes. Keeping my gun loaded. You met Archangel? That guy's yep. a real cocky bastard. Glad he's on our side, though. He is. Come on, Vasco. It's just rumors on... Captain uh, Tom, greetings. Cap uh, crewmate Vasco, greetings. It was just rumors from the uh, cocky loudmouth on the uh, key, but... I think something to do with the den. Don't know if there's a someone there or they plan to attack the place, but you know. Hi. Ha on. Please disregard. I, I, I will. Come on. An informal. Now the den wasn't that where we went with. Wasn't that where we went with Andresia? Isn't it the wolf system? So it should be quite close to Earth. There we go, yeah. Earth. The, the wolf system. Etheria ruins. Etheria. Etheria ruins and what? That looks... Um, well, that looks nuclear to me. Right, what's that? The den, yes. The wolf den. I heard rumours. There's another one. I have to try and remember what the other rumour was I heard. Oh, well, move out the way of the ship. Right, here it is. Isn't this... This is one of the Vanguard stations, I believe. I'm sure that's what the said when we came here with Andresia. Okay, okay. Best... Yeah, I can dock, but best check my clothes before we go in. Right. Yeah, I'm in my pirate gear. Let's take that off. Okay, Merc spacesuit is one thing. Pirate clothes is another. Alright. Hi. Hello. Vasco, if, if you were a pirate, who would you be leaving your evidence with if you were stupid enough? Now, the last time we found it in the bar at Hope Tech, because... Hope Town, should I say, because they were, they were whichever pirate was there was probably Good drunk. Day, Captain. It is, if I can figure out where I should look first. I'm thinking Trade Authority and the bar. Because we know the Trade Authority don't mind dealing dirty and, well, let's hope the next pirate was as drunk as the last one. Captain Tom, it is pleasant to see you. Crewmate Vasco, it's nice to see you too, my friend. Hey guys. Not seen any like having a good one. Yeah, you seen any dodgy data pads lying about? I know you guys don't just pick them up and read them. You should though. Believe it or not, I 
saved uh, Hulk Town from an invasion doing that. An invasion of pirates. Where was that third one? I'm going to have to go through the recorded conversations on my helmet and see if I can figure out where that third one was. Uh, there was the Hulk Town one. This one, I'm sure it's something to do with wolf. And then there was another one. Where was it? Uh, is that the... Oh, that's that woman who's in charge. Or one of the women in charge. What's this? Oh, a defense manual. Don't mind if I do. I'm part of the fleet, after all. Undercover, of course. Okay, I can't see it being in the Vanguard quarters unless they've got a mole. I'll go back there last if I have to. Hey there. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Yeah, it was nicer before I stuck all that random it's junk on the top of it. Isn't it. Out here on the edge of UC space. But it's just so quiet. That's good. You don't want it to be nicer. Just doing a quick inspection. And we've uh sifter. Don't worry. Looks like you passed. Vay Victus. Isn't Vay Victus one of the generals? Something I've not up on my history. I'll have to reread it. You know, if you go out there with no helmet on, your head will totally explode. True story. Yeah, I've heard. Don't let Orville get to you. Just smile, take your drink, and be on your way. Oh, I know. That's for everyone. I know. I've heard. Okay. Are these the cre Are you literally leaving the creds out to pay you for that information on the barrows of victory chuffing token? A bit cocky, isn't it? Uh. No. Uh. I mean, why would I expect it to be here? Just because, well, the last one, it was literally on the floor. It helped that. I mean, did he put it in the bin? Hey, uh, hey, I'm with we Sister now. grateful for the sacrifices made by our military. I'm embarrassed by them. Good. By the way, I'm with Sister. You haven't seen any dodgy data pads laying about, have you? I mean, I might not even be in the right place. They might have meant the planet in the, with the wolf system, but I'm just going off what I've overheard. And, you you know, you know how it is. You go off hunches. And you've got to do what you can. All right, is that it? Is this, is this it? Hey. Oh, hey, don't look at me. I'm just here for the liquor and the uh, occasional odd job. A shipping crew? Does it does it open? Why is it? Why are they classed as they're just shipping crates? Hmm. No. Yeah. Ah. Crete. Uh, 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 uh. They left in a hurry. Nobody's bothered picking it up. Do your job! Neva Mara. <laughs> That's one up for grabs. Plenty of supplies left in the UC outpost on Crete. Last raiding party was sent interrupted by Space Osmavian competition from some independents. First ship that brings back a hold full of junk from that place gets a 20% cut. Yeah, they got interrupted by me when they attacked me. Right at the beginning of my little adventure into being a space flying lunatic. <laughs> We've got to take this back to Toft. Just got to figure out what that last one was, Basco. What was that last one? I've o I overheard them. There was the job at Hope Town. They said something about the den. Loose lip sink ships and all that routine. Pirates, though. They were just. Boasting away. Boast, boast, boast. 
can I figure out where it would be? I've heard it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to re-listen to my bloody audio logs on my helmet, aren't I? Damn it! <sighs> okay, I've reviewed the logs, Vasco. You're not gonna like this, but I think we're talking about Gagarin, and the other one is probably in the Red Mile. I've heard rumours of that place. Have I got time to do all this? Also, I've got to keep an eye out for any evidence I can use against that doctor. Maybe at the uh, clinic we're heading to, maybe I can find evidence. Because the guy or woman she's buying them off is a bit of a junkie, so maybe keeping slack records. Before I take them down, I want to take as uh, many of them into custody as I can. And seeing as though I know that they won't attack without me. And, well, let's face it. The rest of the Crimson Fleet are... Uh, well, what's the word? Inept. So, Delgado's probably only got a chance of me coming back from that... Uh, legacy ship, even if he has sent somebody else. I literally am in charge of how quickly this attack takes place, so I have all the power here. If we can find this evidence against them, we will find it. To Gagarin and then to the Red Mile, I think. Okay. Definitely not being followed. Oh, yeah, I could ask him if he's got anything different, because all the different, uh, what time is it local? Let's have a quick look. Okay, I'm not in my pirate gear, that's good. 20 past four in the morning. Right, if I was a pirate, where would I leave my stuff? Well, considering the last two lost pieces of evidence, we're both in bars. I'm going to head to the bar. Hey, keep your hey. eyes open. Sounds like one I will. of my medical's regular couriers has gone missing. Really? Interesting. Sounds like a rescue job, not the sort of thing I have time for now. Is that the bar? Bar's over there. Share the catwalks, all right? I don't want to have to fish anyone else out of the canyon. Uh, why would I do that? Okay. Where is the bar? Okay. Hey, kid. Alright, this isn't the bar, but it's around here somewhere. That's the the building that thingies... Oh, that's the bar. Boink, boink, boink. Right. Data pads. No. What's that? Mining magazine monthly? Mining monthly. You know what, I actually used to look forward to this coming in when I was back at, uh, Victoria. Uh. Alright, so this is the main bar on planet. This is where I would go if I was a pirate. To... Flashing the cash, so to speak. And celebrating... I'm planning another job. Have you had... You from off-world? Yep. Well, if you like your destinations hot and dusty, Gagarin's got you covered. You seen any pirates recently? Or dodgy-looking folks? Believe they may have uh, dropped some gear. Hi. We don't do fancy, but I can get you what you need. You seen any... um? Never mind, I've seen it myself. Get us a drink, though. What'll it be? A drink. You're in the right place. I'm gonna have one of your bourbons, Don't please. Don't cook yourself out there. Or bourbons, whatever you wish to. Uh... What? I look like the welcoming committee or something? Then get out of my face. I'm just here for this part. Holy crap! We made it to Gagarin Landing. Hmm. Oh, this is the right thing. Now get a load of the cargo manifest. 
Security oh, is pointless. They never stuck. check anything. Why are they running heavy through this sector? No clue. Lucky for us, we were out hunting when it exited jump space. The drive must have malfunctioned. Holy shit. Look at the crew roster. They were also carrying 32 colonists. <sighs> maybe. I mean, maybe. We overdid it. They killed them. Whatever. See through the risk? What? Hmm. You growing a conscience all of a sudden? Yeah, I, I don't know. Some of them were families, man. Hey, if you want to walk away from this score, that's up to you. Me? I'm heading over to the bar to get blitzed. You coming? Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll be there in a little bit. Yeah. She felt guilty. Hey! Need some work done? Yes. Let me have a look at what parts you've got. Hey, what can I do for you? As I said, I wish to see if you have any different parts here compared. Sure, I've added. Let's have a quick look then. Well, I've been able to get more power. But, that's it. Uh, I've had an upgrade, an extra three power on the reactor. Thank you. Um, still no engines that I could swap to that aren't going to ridiculously change the profile of the ship and require far too long to attach. So, yep. Captain Tom, do you yeah. require my assistance? Um, no, not right now. Watch the ship. I'm going to have a nap. And then I think we're headed to... Where are we headed again? Oh. We're headed to the Red Mile. Now, luckily, I've uh, I've got the Red Mile on my list of locations to check out, so finding it's not going to be a problem. Right. Yep. There we go. So, with that extra power, I can fill all of that in one go. If you take that out, technically, can I get... Yeah, I can have one weapon system virtually at full whack, and the shields and the engines at full whack speed. So that's a fair bit. That's a fair bit. And that's assuming I choose to use the engines at full whack. Normally, four or five's pretty okay with for my style of dogfighting. I only really stick that much in them when I need to escape a lot, which means I could technically have full whack uh, particle weapons and pretty fast missile turrets. Yes. Let's um let's worry about that later. I'll tell you what I should do. I should go to bloody um uh, I should go to bloody Walter's shipyard and see if I can get it actually I don't go there, do I for him? Or do I go to that shipyard for the parts? Where do I get the parts from from Walter? Uh, right. Oh, no, that's not what I need. Mission. Mission. Something to do with the Red Mile was the... Oh, activities. Find the Red Mile. Don't need to do that. The Red Mile, apparently, 
the other rumours on the key was that this the uh, somebody had uh, dropped evidence there and was in trouble with Delgado. So let's find out. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> 